Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Khaled and today I'm going to be teaching you how to get a lot of PAL fluid. Now I'm sure you've seen all over YouTube and Twitter and everywhere PAL fluid, how do you get it? There's a lot of strategies that have been put out there, some of these involving raising some Zuzakus and then butchering them. Some involve taking Ozerk down the river. Yes, uh, I know Ozerk is good because he gets double the gathering rate uh, on some PALs whenever you kill stuff, but today I'm going to teach you a way that's actually really good. This method is more for, I would say, mid to end game in getting PAL fluid, and I think that's really where you're going to need it, because you need the PAL fluid to make the legendary and the ultra spheres, as well as the hyper spheres, but you really want it for the legendary spheres. So let's get started. So first things first we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go into the world settings, and we're going to have to change a couple of things. First thing we need to change is we have to change the day and night time. Now I currently have mine set to 3. Um, this is a personal preference because I I just enjoy being able to go out quickly into both night and daytime. I was originally playing on one for the longest time, but it just felt forever, especially daytime for some reason. I just feel like it's going on way too long. But at this rate, I'm mainly doing this right now temporarily so I can farm a bunch of PAL fluid because the strategy that we're going to do is going to involve a shadow beak. Now going into the actual game, uh, what you want to do is try to give yourself a Shadow Beak. As you can see with my Shadow Beak, my Shadow Beak is pretty um, pretty okay. I wouldn't say it's anything crazy, like it doesn't have Legend or any of those crazy stats. But for the most part, this is going to get the job done. You don't even really need it to be like this good. Uh, you can just breed a Shadow Beak and just go with it. Um, Shadow Beak is pretty easy to breed. Uh, you can go onto Palpedia and it can show you exactly how to get any type of Pal that you need. So let's jump into what we need to do. So ideally what you want to do is you want to use this skill from Shadow Beak called Shadow Burst. You get it initially um, from just getting Shadow Beak. He gets it at a level 1, so it's his default level. But you need to level up your Shadow Beak first, so I'd recommend going and killing like some dungeon bosses or killing some high level pals in the world to just level him up in your party. Because you ideally want him to be at least in 30 and above, which getting to level 30 is very easy with all the pals. It's usually the 40s and up is when it starts to take forever to level up. Now what you want to do is you want to come over here to this spot and to this teleport zone as you see that I'm over on the map right now. And what you want to do is you want to just basically run with Shadow Beak at night time down the beach and just Shadow Burst all these like groups of Godfins that you see right here. Um, each one of these guys drop you a pal fluid and as you can see my shadow beak is basically one shotting every single group of these enemies and uh, typically whenever you get done with this you can usually get around I would say somewhere between a safe 30 to almost 50 pal fluid a run this literally takes like seconds like a, like a couple of minutes and you're loaded and you can take that back and you can make so much cement like an insane amount of cement so like I said guys, I think this is honestly the best way to do it. You mess with the day and night settings to make uh, the night time come quicker. You can honestly leave the night time longer, but the reason why I recommend doing this is because you're going to kill everything so fast, it's going to be daytime. Um, but you can also do this during the day as well. You don't have to come here and do it at nighttime like I'm doing it. I'm just doing it at nighttime because uh, they go to sleep and it's just so much easier because they're actually grouped up and it just saves me a lot of time. And as you can see, my Shadow Beak is very fast, so he's just sprinting everywhere, killing everything, and I'm collecting all the PAL fluid um, as much as possible. This is honestly the best way i found to get PAL fluid. If you guys think there's a better way, link it down below, let me know. You might help somebody out. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little short video. I will catch you guys in the next PAL World Tip video. Later.